We need something of the dead. And we'll try to figure out something of the thread in just a bit. So, head out of town. We need to go to the cemetery, of course, for something of the dead. And it is possible to screw that up in this part. And I think you need to leave town if you want to reset it. So, why are we here at night again? Look at the tomb. Warning! Quarantine tomb. Inhabitants died of green tongue fever. That does not sound good at all. Look at the crosses. Stan's casual crosses. For graves that don't need to dress up. Stan. What about this tomb? The rickets. No trespassing. Stan's cozy crypts. A place to spend eternity, not a fortune. Can I open it? It's locked shut with a big rusty lock. Yeah, that's what I figure. I don't think I can open up any the of these. The quagmires. No trespassing. Quagmires. Who else? Whatever. Let's look at the... Oh, I can look at these too. The grouts. No trespassing. The Everybody doesn't want me to trespass. Here lie the Gordo brothers. Too big for any ship. Let's y hope the earth can hold them. Ha! <laughs> you wish. You don't know how Gordo these guys are. Look at these up here. Oh, looks like I found some important ones here. Look at this tombstone. Marco Largo Legrand. Hell on sea or sand. The good news is, he's dead. The bad news is, he bred. That is bad news indeed, Legrand. There once was a girl named Carrie, who thought that she soon should marry. She went into town and flirted around. She didn't get wed, she got buried. That's not that funny. I don't like that limerick. No man commanded Jean Louise, not on land and not on water. John did whatever he did please, until he kissed the gunner's daughter. I like these, these are good. Here lies daredevil Jim McDowell. Hand of steel, leg of wood, Jim took every risk he could. A life of action, that was Jim's. Too bad he ran out of limbs. That tends to happen to people. So, we have Legrand's ancestor, I guess. So, let's pick him up. Sounds like a plan to me. Need something of the dead, after all. This is creepy feeling. Probably. Get to work, though. <laughs> Doesn't look any better if you look at the old stuff. <laughs> oh, God. I swear on my grandfather's grave, something weird is going on. Apparently that was his grandfather. So we have dug up and got a bone. Gross. Yeah, it is. Gross. So let's get out of here, back to the regular cemetery. Can I look at these up front? These here? No, it just sends me... No, it does. Okay, we can't look at these. Sweet. These spots reserved for our privileged future customers. That's awful. The grave of the unknown pirate. Don't know how I feel about that. It doesn't have the eternal flame, so it's not quite the same. But now we have our third item, and hopefully I can get the fourth. Uh, we're going to need to go back to town. I don't know if we need what we need to do in order to get past, um, get past Largo this time. I don't think we have to get past the innkeeper again. I think once we set the alligator out, he's pretty much gone. But I think leaving town resets Largo. So let's head back inside. Yeah, innkeeper is still gone. Can I go inside here, or have I screwed myself out of this already? I have not! So! No, damn it. Close the door! And here we find the laundry claim ticket. So I'd pick that up and open the door and leave. And that is what we needed. Of course, he turned something in to Mad Marty. So it is only logical that he would have a claim ticket. And now I can get his clothing. What did he leave behind? Was it his shirt? After all, we put a ton of mud on it. I don't know how he got the bucket off, but whatever. Mad Marty. I have something for you. I'm here to pick up some clothes. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. I got it right here. Got it right here. Great. I'll see what we have ready for Mr. Legrand. 
I not the brightest. Here somewhere. What the hell is it? a while ago. Oh, where was it? Is that a parrot? What the hell is ah, powering this here thing? It comes. What? What? Why do I have a pearly white bra? Nice April fresh scent. That is that is insanely creepy. Uh, God, apparently he's got a bro or a man's ear, whichever whichever version you like. I, I like the the bro better to be honest with you. But we are ready now. We have all four parts of the voodoo doll recipe. Sure, I, I couldn't think of what to call it. So let's head back to the swamp. And we can talk to the voodoo lady once again and tell her all the things that we have done in order to get this recipe. And surely she will not be creeped out by the fact that we dug up his dead grandfather in order to get what looks like a shin bone? That, that's the one that I'm going to go with. Could, could be the femur, though. But it looks like the shin bone to me. What is that, the tibia? Up. Go up. Thank you. And now we can talk to the voodoo lady. Voodoo lady, I did it! And I'm kind of upset about Back it. Again, Mr. Threepwood. About the doll. About that voodoo doll? Have you brought me the ingredients? I have his toupee. I have his toupee. Hmm. Not quite a part of his head. But maybe I can get some scalp fragments from it. Gross. So apparently Have you brought me any other ingredients? Yeah, he is bald and his hair is just a toupee. I have some of his spit. I have some of his spit. Excellent. Really? You, you may keep the paper. Have you brought me any other ingredients? You are a gross voodoo lady. That's the bone of his grandfather. <laughs> Damn it, say shin bone. Don't just say bone. I have the bone of his grandfather. Perfect. Do you have the final ingredient? I do. I got his bra. I have this pearly white bra. Yes, that will work. At last. Everybody knew who you were. I can make a voodoo doll to be reckoned with. Let me get my juju bag. And now for the ingredients. A dandruff flake from Largo's head. A single piece of Lago's thread. A drop her eyes, of fluid from his body. Her eyes glowing as a she's doing this? chip off the bone of the dead. And finally, some miscellaneous voodoo herbs and seasonings, including monosodium glutamate. Might be allergic. This ought to be good. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Who do we assassinate? Assassinate sounds a lot better. Lago, Lago, yeah. Push him way back. Thanks. Hey, that looks just like him. It does. Thanks, Voodoo Lady. One more thing. Some of the ingredients were not the optimum specimens. It should still work, but it will have a limited range. You will have to get close to Lago. Very close. Hey, and she gave me pins. That doesn't. How does this look just like him? It's little, mean looking, and ugly. Just I guess. like Largo. It is just like him. And pins, of course. Sharp. Of course they are. Just like. Sharp. Just like the knife. <laughs> so I think it is time to confront our menace, Largo. So, let's get out of here and we can confront him. We have completed our first challenge, it looks like. So let's just go all the way out of the swamp, which does take a little bit of time, unfortunately. Out of the coffin, which still does not make sense to me. And back to Wood Tick, where I know he is waiting for me. Probably have to go back into his room in order for this to happen. It's the only place I know that will pretty much guarantee him showing up. So let's head to his room and hopefully we can find something good to do with the voodoo doll. Like dogma style. I don't believe in voodoo, except in this game I do. Hey, 
What are you doing in here? Get uh, out of my room and stay out. Hey. Damn it. Can I use the pins in the voodoo doll? I think Largo's out of voodoo range. Out of voodoo range, of course. So I gotta be quick. Why are you following me around? There we go. Yeah. Take that, you stumpy little dim-witted toad. What? Who do you think you are? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Don't People you forget don't it. People always recognize me. Why I carry this. I'm gonna tear you limb from limb. Yeah, how oh. are you doing that? Largo the Grand, you are a no good, vicious, two bit thug. I command you to give me back my money and leave this island. Yeah, my money. Ha! I already spent all your money. Oh, well, I command you to leave this island. Just you try and make. <laughs> That'll teach you to mess with the slayer of the ghost pirate LeChuck. What's that? You killed LeChuck? I did. As a matter of fact, I did. Damn Quite well an did. interesting story, actually. The fortune teller said she did in LeChuck. She did, did she? Does she have one of these? Is that? Yes, LeChuck's beard. Still alive and wriggling. Yeah. Let me see that. Boy. It is alive! Why? We've been looking for a living piece of LeChuck for years! Now we can bring it back to life! Look out, world! The most fearsome pirate of all time will soon sail the seas again! Whoops. Big whoops. I'm afraid it's true, Guybrush. If they have any animated tissue, they can reanimate his whole body. But I blew his body into a zillion gooey pieces. Not his body, Guybrush. You destroyed his spirit form. His body was safely buried far away. But by now it must be... Rotten? Partially decomposed? Yes. And I don't think that's going to make him any more pleasant to deal with. He's gonna be looking for me. Yes. He's gonna try to kill me. Undoubtedly. What can I do? I have unleashed LeChuck. What can I do? You're already doing all that you can. What's that? Hunting for Big Whoop. Oh, yeah, I was doing that, wasn't I? Yeah, that was Big kind of important. Whoop isn't just a treasure, no? it contains the secret to another world. What other Find world? Find that world. And you'll be able to escape LeChuck forever. But I know so little about Big Whoop. Take this book. Big Whoop. Unclaimed Bonanza or Myth? And where'd you get this? I checked it out at the Fat City Library. I foresaw your need. I should go Gee, to that library. Thanks. I used your name when I checked it out, so be sure and return it when you're through reading. The overdue fines in Fat City are pretty steep. Gee, thanks. Great. So, let's take a look at Big Whoop. Big Whoop. Unclaimed bonanza or myth? This is fascinating. It says here there were four pirates. Rap Scallion, the cook. Young Lindy, the cabin boy. Mr. Rogers, the first mate. And Captain... Good heavens! Captain Marley! Wonder if there's any relation. They bury their really? treasure along with plenty of... Uh-oh. Booby traps on a place believed to be called Inky Island. They made a map which they divided into four pieces, each man taking one. Rapscallion later opened the Steam and Weenie Hut on Scab Island. It was a huge success, but fell into disrepair after Rap was killed in a flash fire. Young Lindy drifted aimlessly, down on his luck until he mysteriously came into money while panhandling on Booty Island. He used the cash to bankroll an advertising firm which failed after its gross mishandling of the gangrene and honey account. Mr. Rogers retired off the coast of Fat Island. He marketed homemade contest grog brewed in a bathtub until his recent disappearance. Captain Marley vanished while sailing in the America's Cup race. His boat was leaning at the time. Really? The America's Cup? <laughs> Alright, so! We have vanquished... Well, not really vanquished, but we have sent Largo running! And I think it is time for us to figure out a way to get off of Scab Island, which we will have to do next time! That's going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Monkey Island 2. LeChuck's Revenge. I've been Baller Scoob. I've been joined, as always, by dashing, bearded Guybrush Threepwood.
Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.